it's your boy corn on the cobden and xxx cornly let's go corn gang americans were enslaved the lands that we stand on now they paid oh. they were recorded around from all the seas and then forced to harvest our tobacco leaves oh. the north and south had different views black north was free black south was abused Ooh. while the north believed in abolition south was reluctant to make the transition Gorn gang! when white captors needed more slaves they started raping and abusing african dames this gave them free child africans they could sell making the mother's life a living hell Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. africans eventually started to flee but they weren't as lucky as can be the road to the north was a dangerous path it could end in freedom or a big blood Bath. To their delight, there was a second road. So clever, slave owners could not decode. It was run by hidden abolition supporters. Slaves were brought to freedom by these exporters. Harriet Tubman was one of these slaves. Work and abuse were once her days. When she followed the road, she was free. But could she live knowing what she had to see? Corn gang! The answer was simple. No, she could not. Just the idea made her stomach rot. So Harriet Tubman made 19 trips, saving hundreds of lives that were living off strips. When slavery ended in 1865, Africans adapted to their new way of life. But a decade Ooh. after the Civil War, new laws were passed that caused an uproar. Corn gang! These new laws were called Jim Crow. For Africans, this was a heavy blow. They legalized unjust segregation, like separating races at a bathroom or train station. Ooh. Redlining was another tool used to oppress by rich white fool. Ooh. It raised the price of housing for blacks, forcing black families to live in rundown shacks. Born 100 years later, in the mid-1900s, something happened that was quite wondrous. Ooh. The Jim Crow era came to an end. Redlining and segregation began to descend. But this did not stop racism. We still haven't embraced them. Ooh. Society still holds harmful stereotypes, like how all Asians are lookalikes. Being an anti-racist is hard work. You need to check yourself so you aren't a jerk. It could be hard, but if we all do it, it would be a better world than if we quit. Ooh. Racism affects all of us. It's like pulling out your hair in tufts. At first, it Ooh. seems as harmless as can be, but turns out to be devastating for you and me. Anyways, we be piecing out. We love staying and explaining what slavery was about. Ooh. The stereotypes and assumptions dominate our life. Being nice and anti-racist could eliminate strife. Corn Gang out!